Okay, pardon me for starting a little bit late, but we have a bit of a problem on our hands. We are going to be finishing Super Mario RPG Revolution today. Right here, right now. Only problem is my save file's gone missing. I'll explain that later. But before I get to that, just a moment. Before that, I want to make clear that this is Super Mario RPG Revolution we are playing, which is a ROM hack designed to increase the difficulty of the game through various things such as tweaking enemy stats and making timed, timed hits harder. I'm going to go ahead and post a link in the chat in case anyone wants to check it out. I will also put the link in the description of the archive when it goes up. So, let's get to it and address the actual problem at hand that we're going to have to deal with. That's the wrong one. Ooh, it's weird when that happens. I have not touched anything since I streamed Donkey Kong Country yesterday, so I'm hoping that my mic settings will be about the same as they were yesterday. Get that out of here. And I won't have to tweak anything, because I'm not going to have any aid uh, listening in. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, dear. Hang on, let me tweak something here. Okay, that should fix it. Let's watch the intro a little bit and see if it did. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. So, onto the problem at hand. My save file has gone missing. And I have no clue what happened to it. I was away on vacation for, uh, like two weeks or so, and I come back and my save file's just completely wiped. I don't know how that happened. I've been digging around. I know I'm using a new version of this, uh, emulator. Kinda have to. I have to use a new version of the emulator that has a rewind feature because the last time we tried to finish this game, we ran into a game freezing glitch when we were trying to fight Smithy. So, in an effort to prevent that, we will be using rewinds in case something crashes the game. Might have to use Safe States 2 as a backup. Right, so I do have a few save states, and by a few I mean exactly two. One of them's right here from when I was grinding for levels. I'm tempted to use this one. Provided that Mario fucking lives. <laughs> oh, Mario, come on. 
All I want to do is get back to where I was. Oh boy. Whoa! Yeah, uh, no, don't want that. I'm not even sure if there's anything I can do to affect the outcome here. Aside from... Good grief. How do I get myself into this situation? I can't even block. Okay, there we go. That's a block. Okay, good grief. Yeah, this is about where I remember us being last time. Totally out of resources, but that's okay. Ah, oh boy. I, I hope I don't have to do too much backtracking. Otherwise, we're going to be basically replaying the entire previous stream just in an effort to get back to Smithy. I guess I was leaving. Oh, boy. This is such a pain. Wish I knew what the heck happened to my save file. But what can you do? If there, if I missed a few bosses between here and Smithy, then I'm going to use my other save state, which is right before Smithy. Because that's what we're here for. We're here to A, beat Smithy, and B, beat Culex. And I don't have very much confidence that we'll be able to do the latter today. Just because... Oof. It's going to be hard. One of those things where you may want to be at maximum level before you attempt it. Totally silent dream intermission. Cool. And do a quick check to make sure we got plenty of items. I think Toad will show up later to give us a few, so... We'll get to that. Alright, now for a little game of get to the end of Smithy's Factory as fast as possible. Before I do that, I need to know, did I ever get... I know the reason I was grinding levels so much was so that I could get everyone's uh, final special move, which, uh, in the case of Gino, didn't quite happen here, did it? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, Mallow's got all his power, so maybe we'll use him. Switch that up with something. Uh, ghost metal, maybe. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, it's 445. Let's get there as quick as we can. Try and avoid all the random battles. Not random. Actually, if I do this... Well, better than nothing. Those little blue dudes, by the way, perfect for level grinding. I'm not going to show it off here. But they're a bit like the uh, Fobbies from Earthbound. Maybe that's where the, the rum hacker may have taken inspiration from that in that they're easy to kill, come in big numbers, and give you plenty of experience. Oh, no. We haven't even done this yet? Oof. Yeah, okay, never mind that, then. We're not replaying all of Smithy's factory. We're here to finish it, so... Time to go with my emergency save state. 
Oh! Well, we're actually properly leveled on this one. This was the save state that I left for myself... ...like years ago when I first played this ROM hack. Question is... ...is it what we need? Gino going last? That might be okay. I might want the magic scarf instead. Um, better magic defense, that's alright. But, way worse defense. I kind of want that defense. Mario, you're gonna get the ghost medal. I need you to live. And Peach, of course, needs to be protected from status ailments. And how are we doing on items? Yeah, we got a little bit of everything. Don't know why I have these when I got all the rock candies. Let's do a quick exchange before we march right in there. Also, let me check to make sure I haven't at already beaten Culex on this file. If I have, then we'll see the uh, Quartz Charm in the inventory, which I don't see. So yeah, haven't beaten Culex yet. Now, where's Toad? There you are. Get rid of these worthless things. These were my lifeline the last time we did this. Might want to get another one of these, I guess. Anything else? Actually, does Toad sell Caro Caro Colas? No, he doesn't. We'd have to go back to Tadpole Pond for that. I think we're good, though. Got two red essences as well, for good measure. Might need to put... Might need to slap that on Peach before we start. Or when we get to the final phase. So, kind of a shame that I'm completely overriding everything that I did up until now on this stream, but... Hey, crazy stuff has happened before. This is actually exactly what went wrong during my third stream of this game. We, I accidentally loaded this save state when we were about to hit a booster's tower. Okay, enough dilly-dally. Let's get going. Oh god, do I want to do the voice acting all over again? I don't even remember what voices I had for any of these characters. Hey! There's the last star piece. We'll consider this two takes. And if, uh... <laughs> it, I'll, I'll just pick whichever one I like better in the editing session. How do I do this again? Mm -hmm. Already finished your tour of the factory, huh? All right, then. I'm about a little demonstration. Yo, Smithy! Stop making those things and hand over the star piece. Now. <laughs> so you're Mario. Looks like we're gonna have a little dispute over the star. Just hand it over and get out of my castle. My boy, we're a little touchy today, aren't we? You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. Please, don't make us go through any more. Just give us the star, now. <laughs> Better yet, why don't you give me your stars? And then I could easily conquer this world. Then we could get rid of all wishes and create a world filled with weapons. <laughs> Over here, now. I'll crush you all. There we go. Round two. Just checking my uh, re re rewind button. In case of great game breaking emergency. I'm not even sure if I should bother with that, because I know that we're going to have to deal with the smelter first. Yeah, here we go. And he doesn't become active until he does something once. 
And he produces two of those little dudes at once. Nice. Pretty simple stuff here. Take out the smelter, take out the shy guys, and finally take out, uh, you know, Smithy Doom. I wonder if this would help. I do have an awful lot of these things. Didn't trigger any counterattacks, that's good. But not much point in targeting all of them when one of them is clearly, you know, more dangerous than the rest. But heck, that's the only way Peach can do significant damage right now, so whatever. Ooh. Two mace sprites. It's, it's slowing down quite a bit. Eh, let's just go with a standard Geno Beam. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Slow down is something else today. Oof. That was unimpressive. Well, we still got a nuke on our hands, so we should be fine. Some people might crit- Ooh, that was quick. Fuck yeah, Gino. So some might find it annoying that you can hear all the little button presses, but I think it's pretty handy in a game like this, where, uh-oh. I'm utterly annoying! Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Ah! Well, we got the smelter out of the way, so let's fire it up. This is what killed the stream last time, so we're going to be ready with the rewind button in case things go crazy. It's like too many fireballs crashes the game somehow. Also, I just realized I had a few unnecessary programs lingering, so let's get rid of those real quick. Oops. Come on. Oh, whatever. I'll deal with that later. Okay. I want this game to run as smooth as possible for the finale. <laughs> the game slowed down so much that it is going out of sync with the rest of it. Oh boy, here we go. What kind of trick you got up your sleeve this time? Dark Star. Yeah, that's dangerous. And it hits everyone at once. I forgot about that. In the original game, it only hit one person at a time. Uh-oh. Ah, never mind. We're good. Still, we've been going through this first phase without using all, uh... Any, like, last resort items or anything like that. So, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's try a bit of jumpy jump. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess Smithy's got a weaker magic defense than regular defense. And I keep missing the timing on that. That's unfortunate. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, you can hear my button presses, which might be good if you want to have an idea of how the timed hits works. Also, I'm surprised that I'm acting so surprised at this. It was only two or so weeks ago that I did this. For the, fir for the first time in a long time. I should be more used to these tricks by now.
Seriously, why is this move so good in this ROM hack? And for that matter, why is Mario's jump so strong? I guess I did a lot of jump grinding off screen before, uh, you know, the last time I played this. Yeah! No! Hope I'm not clipping too much. Calm down, Smitty! Your head looks like a geyser! Don't get so worked up! Think of your blood pressure! We just built this yesterday, and the foundation's very weak, so stop shaking the floor, please! How utterly annoying! How many times am I gonna have to say that? Uh, what the? How in the heck? Well, that went very well, I must say. No! Ooh, I'm seething. Never have I been so angry. Don't think this is over. I will boil you and your precious stars into nothingness. Let my true form be the last thing you'll ever see. Got it. <laughs> I'm ready to end this. When I edit this, I should do- I should, like, redub this for the final battle and put, like, a filter on my voice. That'd be cool. Oh boy, I hope I'm remembering right. Hope this guy's weak to fire. Shoot. Still can't block those. No siree. Also, I tried my hardest to kill the body last time I did this. And, uh, it didn't work. It most certainly did not work. Let's see, do I want to bother with this for now? Mm, maybe a bit of this. Oop. Messed that one up. It's alright, we can do this. Let's try a bit of jump. Oh, that's much better. Also, that's not fair. Come on. Oh, dear. Don't die on me now, Peach. So what is the deal with the body in this ROM hack? Does it make Smithy counterattack every time he gets hit? Because if so, maybe I should focus on the body first. I wasn't able to... Gotta keep focused. I was not able to destroy it last time I played this. But maybe that can change. Whoa. Whatever. It took so long to destroy, I'm convinced that it, uh... You know, once we get rid of it, it won't come back. Speaking of which, come back. Let me see if I get the timing right. Shoot, I missed it. Gotta hit it right as the star hits their body or something. That's not good. Uh, that, uh, that catches me off guard every time. Mario... You attack. I'm gonna have the princess use an item. It's technically more effective than the uh, healing spell, so... We'll go with that. Also almost out of flower points. I need to remedy that on Mario's turn. I got high hopes for this. I hope that I can kill this body quick. Oh, 
Give me a break. With all the level grinding I did for this, you'd think this be a, this would be a touch easier, but no. You pretty much need this in order to stand a chance. Got it. Right before the star hits the body. All right, next one. Well, let's keep laying it down then. I have a feeling I can keep Smithy locked in one head form, as long as I'm attacking the body. Jeez, that does so much damage. Ah, I should have just used therapy. What am I, what am I doing? Well, as long as Smithy is in this form, he won't be using Shredder to get rid of our uh, stat buffs. And I completely missed that again. Ugh, I'm ready to end this! Oh, uh, boy. Hang on, he doesn't do it right away, right? Crossing my fingers on this, I'm trusting that he's not gonna... lay the hurt into me right away. Be careful with that. Alright, I'm trusting that he's gonna use Shredder before he does anything crazy. Steaming. That means he's about to do it. I just can't. T oh my god. His attack power keeps getting bigger and bigger. I'm not convinced. I know he's going to try to use Shredder first. On pins and needles right now. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, I screwed up. I thought for sure he was going to use Shredder. No. Any survivors? Oh no. Uh, how many people are watching right now? One. You didn't see that. None of you saw that. This is so ridiculous, but no one will know because no one's watching right now. <laughs> there we go. And now we just pretend nothing happened, except Gino's gonna die anyway, so you go out in a blaze of glory. There we go. Now we're in the real continuity. Whew. Oh, no you don't. Jeez.
Alright, I think we're kind of in need of some flower points anyway, so Princess, go ahead and use a uh, Caro Caro thingy. Hmm, but what to do about Mr. Man here? I still want to keep focusing on the body. I never expect him to hit me from there. Well, at least Mario's still standing strong. And I should try to hold the controller away from the mic when I'm doing that. Also, Mario still got that stat buff. So good on him. I'm putting my bets on the f gamble that the princess will not be attacked. Also, I wonder, which one hits harder? Star gun or G- Oh. I've been wasting my flower points this whole time. You did that before! Ah. Well, so much for that. Mario, lend my hand. Everyone, please be at full health. Okay. I'm not entirely convinced that this is working. Is the body invincible? And the, you know, ROM hacker's just being a dick by not telling me? Or is something else going on? What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my current strategy of attacking the body first until we hit the next ultimatum attack. And if we still run into problems, if we still haven't gotten something accomplished, then I'm switching focus to the head. Ugh. Must have I must have given the princess weird level up boosts, because she has taken way more magic damage than I would have expected. Stop that. Ah. Do we have any more of those uh, mega elixirs? No? Hmm. Ah, she, she can't keep up. There's too much damage going around. Come on, Gino, survive! Barely. Jeez. Sorry for the lack of commentary, I'm just very unsure of myself right now. Oh, oh, oh! Did I do it? Did I finally kill the body? Because if so, that would be... Hang on a minute. What do you mean body is burning? Is it, is it gone or not? Uh... I don't understand this. What the? Hold on a minute. What was that? What was that? What just happened? Oh, I get it. The body is burning. It's about to explode.
Uh, is that gonna happen again? Let me test that out. Okay, yeah, 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 that's what's going on. Do not attack the body. No, 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 no. Okay, lesson learned. I hope to god that thing doesn't counterattack too. Oh, it does. Does it counter non-magic attacks? No, that's safe. Okay. We'll do that instead. I don't remember this thing having so much magic before. Oh, here it goes. Well, that was one of the standard attacks that that mask head used to do, so... I'm guessing it's not much to worry about. Crossing my fingers on that. Also crossing my fingers in the hopes that uh, that body does not move again. Oh god, it's getting stronger, I think. Somehow. Uh... Yeah, okay. Point to- Oh! Alright. He really wants us to have zero stat boosts at the end of this. Question is, is he gonna do it right away? Or is he gonna wait? I got a feeling he's gonna do that head steaming line again before he, uh... Completely blows us to smithereens. Sure hope so. Shit! No! No, that's not fair! That's not fair at all! Your cues are different from the last time. Also, I'm not convinced that we're gonna survive. Even if we all block. Well, we gotta try. Because otherwise it's an instant game over. Very fitting, by the way, that of all the animations that the ROM hacker put back into the game that weren't there before... Oh boy. Someone's about to die. Someone's a... Oh. Maybe not. We lived... <laughs> we lived! And a freebie. Nice. Well, uh, in that case... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Do not target the body. I almost forgot about that. Shoot. Should have used a stat buff or something. Uh, hmm. Well, whatever. Beams are fine. I kind of like that the Geno Beam takes long, uh, longer to charge up. Oh boy. Two bullets per turn. I don't like that. Is that... Does he counter magic or something? Like, what's going on? Yeah, he counters magic. Shoot. That's exactly what's happening. Well, physical it is. Ah, that's even better. So, now that we've defeated the body, it's just going to do that over and over and over again. Point taken. Well, I guess we should give Mario a buff or something. Oh, wait. <laughs> what did I just say? What did I just say? No buffs. We are not allowed to have status buffs. What? Already? Well, you're not tricking me this time. I know exactly what you're about to do. But man, he's doing that often, isn't he?
Maybe I should have been doing split damage the whole time while uh, working on uh, working on killing the body. I don't know. Oh boy, now it's a treasure box. If I remember correctly, he doesn't like fire. Okay, okay. I think that's what crashed my game last time. For some reason... Uh... Don't tell me this thing counters magic too. I just can't get any advantages. I just have to stick to basic attacks over and over and over again. Well, no can do right now, because he turned us all into scarecrows. Don't do it too fast. Don't crash the game. <laughs> I don't like this uh, counter magic system. Whoa, what? I didn't see that coming. Let's try to give Mario a boost and see how long it lasts. No, no, no. Ah! No buffs, ever, under any circumstance. We're just forced to do normal attacks forever. This stinks. He's neutralizing all my best stuff. Also, if I'd known this was gonna thing, I would have given Mario the freaking lazy shell weapon. Whoa! My body and head are burning. It's not possible. I don't believe it. I'm finished. Done for. Oh no! Oh my God! We did it. My damage output was such garbage that I thought we weren't going to make it. Maybe that's the secret. You have to kill the body first. Well, I'll be. That's it. Come on, Mario. Send the last one way up high. Delightful. Well, we've earned this. <laughs> With all the troubles and technical difficulties we've been through on this stream, we have earned this ending. I'm going to turn the mic off while I take a drink. Enjoy the ending, everyone. Okay, I can't leave just yet. There's more to say. Thank you, everyone. The Star Road is back to normal, and...
Dang it, emulator. <laughs> the sound went out of sync. I'm really sorry about that, but the ending here, the end credits, might be a little bit out of sync. Apologies in advance. this too
I just wanted to let the whole thing play out before I restarted the game. Also, gonna turn off that whole pause when inactive thing, because I need to monitor something here. There's something a bit wrong. I just now noticed there's like a little white rec little like a tiny, tiny little white strip at the bottom of my stream, and I don't like it. There we go, that's better. Get this thing out of here. Okay. Well, that is, of course, only half of what we set out to do today. The other half being challenge the secret boss of the game. Culex. The Final Fantasy crossover character of questionable origin. Also, I just realized something. I just realized something. Hang on a minute. Notice that when I was booting up the game at the beginning of the stream... I'll pause it when it happens. Um, this right here. This right here. That sword wasn't there. <laughs> when you're starting a completely new game with uh, no save files, that sword is not there. It's just Bowser's Castle. That's brilliant. I love it. S the sword doesn't show up until you actually see him in the story. Alright, now for a new game, I'd like to call it, let's bail out of Smithy's factory as fast as we can. Also, what kind of party are we going to be going in with? Who am I kidding? We're going to be going in with Mario, Peach, and Gino, of course. If it works, it works, am I right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, do we want to switch this out? Yeah, Gino was dying a little bit too much for me to be comfortable with, so we're going to give him the, uh, you know, a bit of proper... What do you call it? A bit of proper defense. And Mario can take the Toad Vest because he's got the Ghost Metal, which will drop his uh, drop incoming magic power. All right. <clears throat> Sneak by these guys. Kind of sucks that there's no quick escape from Smithy's factory. But we got to deal with it, so... God, that's that's jarring, seeing the Bowyers come out of nowhere. There it goes. All right, wait for it. And go. Actually, before we... Mm, I don't know what secrets we have yet to find, so I may do a quick bit of hunting around for another red essence or two. Particularly the easy one that you can find in the forest maze. I don't know if we have that. Platforming. Not quite, but, you know... Dude, this is so much... I'm, I've said this before, but this... Controlling this game is so much easier when you've got a control stick instead of a D-pad. Let me tell you. It's pretty great. Uh, that's not great, though. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, that's a lot of hammers. Get out of here. Okay. Get out, get out, get out. No, no, no. No, don't get hit by the stupid... Ah! More hammers. I don't want fun, but I do want to run. Ah, come on. Give me a break. All right. Whoa! That didn't happen. <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, oh yeah, I do have to do that. Okay. Almost there, probably. Maybe. Kinda. Sorta. Not really. We're maybe like halfway there. Oh, how far we've come. I can't believe we spent so long on this game. It's been like a 20 hour uh, combined stream. If I were to string them all back to back. That's pretty crazy. 
It's gonna be a long time before I do another series quite as long as this. Dang it. But then part of that was because it was a difficulty ROM hack. So it took longer just to get the necessary experience to survive some of the later bosses in the game. Just keep moving. Okay, I think we're out. Very good. Alright, so first we will make a quick stop at the forest maze. Let's see if there's any easy secrets that I deliberately left uncollected. Yep. I'll take that. So... It's never really stated in the original game or in this ROM hack that this fully recovers your health points as well as your flower points. So it renders these uh, jellies over here kind of useless. Provided that you have a lot of them, of course. Actually, that's not a... Mm, well, I was about to say I should just try and fill my inventory up with them, but the problem with that is that I need to keep 500 coins so that I can buy the item that will get me into the Culex fight. So, we're not gonna... we're not gonna have all the best items. Alright, where's the other secret? Should be around here. Maybe? Maybe it's further up. What? We got already. Aww. Well, that's too bad. Oh well. So what, we're going in with two red essences? Is that right? Uh, I'd really like to have an even three. But I guess we'll just slap one on the princess uh, if we need. In in case of dire emergency, we'll have that to fall back on. I suppose I could also sleep repeatedly at the Nimbus Land Inn and see if I get lucky enough to get another one. I don't see that happening. Uh, and it'll take quite a while. We're only over an hour, but I know that Culex himself is going to take a while. I'm going to get at least one game over, just in the process of figuring how he works. Because I know things are going to be different. Back in the day, you could just spam rock candies as much as you could, and you'd have a pretty easy advantage early on in the fight. But I don't think that's going to be quite so easy here. In fact, I'm willing to bet that every single one of the crystals uh, helping him in the fight will be able to counterattack anything. So if you try and hit them all with rock candy right away, you'll get counterattacked to death before you can do anything. Alright, what do I need again? Also, did I ever get the frying pan for the princess here? Yes, I did, but I ditched it because it dropped her magic power, and we don't want that. All right, Mr. Man, give me a fireworks. Ow. Oh, that's right, it actually takes up an inventory space. Mm. I guess we don't, we didn't even use any of these in the smithy fight. So I guess it's not totally necessary now, is it? Alright, shiny stone, better known as a crystal. I mean, I think we've pretty much got everything we need, we just gotta... It's pretty much just a matter of strategy. Also, did we ever beat Jinx? 
we never did, and I might have missed my chance to show you everything he's capable of. Because this is a new save file. This isn't, well, old save file. But it's different from, from what I was working with before. So... I might not be able to show you all of the Jinx battles. I take that back. Yes, I will. We haven't even fought Jagger yet. Well, let's do that first. Let's warm up. My sensei is out right now, but he'll be back shortly. In the meantime, will you accept a challenge from me during this trying time? Great! You know I'm not going to make it easy for you, right? Yeah, this won't take long. What? I'm sorry, what? Is he immune to physical attacks or something? What was that? What? Hold on a minute, what's going on here? There we go. Oh, cut that out. Jeez! What are you doing?! What just happened? Why did he get so many hits? Why am I failing against Jagger? We haven't even gotten to Jinx yet. Something very wrong is going on here. <sighs> okay, I've got a weird feeling about this. I got a feeling that he's got, like, single-digit HP or something. And this is just a matter of you know, just hit him. Jesus Christ, this is gonna be weird. If he really does have single-digit HP, a rock candy should kill him in one hit, right? Let's see if it works. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Oh, wait, it did say freebie. Okay. Well, we took the cheap way out because I... That just seems extremely boring to me. <laughs> to force you to inflict single-digit HP of damage onto your opponent for as long as he can last. Oh god, what, what voice am I going to give this bastard? Oh boy. He's, he's tiny, so it should be a little bit high-pitched, but I also want to give him like an old martial arts master voice. You did well for your inexperience, Jagger. Yeah, that's good. Sensei, have you been here all along? Forgot what voice I gave him. Hey, you felt my key, didn't you? Not bad for a novice. Your fighting style, is, it isn't as foolproof as you think. I'll accept a challenge any day. Well, let's get to it then. You wish to challenge me? Alright, let's see what you're capable of. Now that attack has a weird timing to it. You actually have to block the instant your character gets up on their feet and back to their original position. It's really strange. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, that's not bad. Oof. Gotta be careful with the counterattacks, though. There we go. I think I got this. Not a problem. <laughs> Holy smokes, he still does that, does he? I shouldn't have done that, I should have waited. Never mind, he's taking a break. Sometimes I wonder if this game operates like Final Fantasy Tactics and that every character, like, charges a meter before they can take their turn. Because that's how it feels like with some of these enemies sometimes. 
whenever they skip a turn or take multiple turns in a row. There we go. Again, you have to wait until the last second to pull the block off. It's so weird. Oh god, he's doing Hadoukens. God. Uh, Mario, don't die on me. I equipped him to stand a chance against Culex, not Jinx. I need to change my equipment after this. You know, we're all geared up and ready for a... for a fight against a magic... Oh, not this again. This was, this was the thing that Kamek pulled on us when we were fighting him in Bowser's Castle. If you don't block that, you are dead. Well, so much for that genome boost. Phew, simply amazing. So much for the so much for that. Because we won anyway. <laughs> I guess I underestimated you. You pack quite a punch. But don't let it go to your head, because I let you have that round. Let's have a rematch. What you got to say, mister? Now this should be interesting. Can you beat the master, Mario? I think we can. But not before giving Mario something a bit more useful to wear. Like that. Never found out what this thing did, by the way. This is like one of the great mysteries of this ROM hack, is what the fuck does the Cursed Ring do? do? I almost thought it would, like, buff up one of your stats at the cost of everything else. But it, like, does it without telling you? I just don't know. Also, I'd better save between these fights, because they're going to get hard. Even with me at the level that I am. You wish to challenge me? Alright, you asked for it. And no crying if you get hurt! That's his version of a, uh, group hitting attack. <laughs> he can't use magic, so he just does one attack three times. I wonder how well fire works. Holy, I'm not even using a turbo button, and I'm just firing off- I'm firing him off like a madman. Give me the defense. No defense. I feel like this is just an extended exercise in getting action commands down perfectly. Because being able to take hit any of his hits down to zero damage is a godsend. Still doing good on damage, Gino. Yeah, nice. Well, this is actually starting off quite a bit better than before. But that just means he's hiding something. Holy, that's so fast! I feel like I'm not even pressing the button that fast, but it's just... Whew. Okay. So, yeah, this is an extended training exercise for your timed hits, because, uh, you miss a block, you're dead. I think I've already said that, but whatever. Well, that did about as much damage as the fire, way cheaper, too. 
Oh yeah, never mind the fire. Alright, I think he's getting low. Eh, sure. Let's see how well this does. That's even more than the jump! What if I... I've been wasting time with Mario there. I should have given him the Geno Roost. Oop. Ooh. Uh oh. No, 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 no! <laughs> Look at what kind of situation we've been left in. Oh my god. I am scared. I d <laughs> Mario, please. We just need all hands on deck, because that was nuts. Is he going to do that again? No, it's like he needed a turn to charge or something. No, wait. Oh, that's right. I We have a different, like, turn order now. I forgot about that. Well, go again. No, 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 no! <sighs> I think we can do this. Golly, this is just fight number two. And I almost got annihilated. Well, it was worth a try. We're gonna have to buy a lot of these when we're done here. Oh, a defense boost. No, no, no! I don't know how to block that! Man, I never- I, ne I did not get this excited during the smithy battle. is the timing on that? I can't... I can't get right. There we go. Man, that is so hard to do now. I keep forgetting that you have to do the... Th <laughs> okay, we're fine. Might be a good idea to do the Geno Boost immediately during the next battle and try my hardest to get the defense boost out of it. Ugh. I wonder if I should just block when he does that, because he's about to go nuts again. No. Holy... Well, nice knowing you, Mario! <laughs> Could've gone worse. Man, and I just gave him that defense boost, too. Okay, I think we're back on track. Phew. Simply amazing. I was really hoping he was about done there. Still haven't had enough. It isn't often that I have someone this competitive to spar with. Alright, this match will be the one that counts since I'm placing my reputation on the line. Ooh, I need more pick-me-ups. 
Uh, Goomba, give me a hand here. And how much space do I have? Oh, that's it. What's Yoshi I do again? Oh, it's basically a free genome boost. Well, that's nice. Mm, maybe I should use it. Because I know Culex loves to use Shredder. And Jinx does not, so... Yeah, let's try that. Let's try giving everyone a good buff during this next battle. Watch closely, Jagger. You're about to see your sensei in action! Oh, uh, yes, we are. Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> I was not expecting that to work so well. Alright, let's give this a try on uh, Mr. Mario here. Ooh, nice. Let's see if we can get Gino in on some of that. Come on. That is so hard, why? Man, you have to be perfect. <laughs> she blocked and it did that much damage? Jesus Christ! I kind of want to get in all my damage right now, but... <laughs> well, so much for that. Is he just going to do that over and over again? That's not fair. Oh, no. Really scared of what this thing's capable of now. Is he any more vulnerable to magic? No. No, in fact, he might actually counter magic with this instant death bullshit. Also, Gina didn't take any damage from that. Interesting. Whatever I said before, about this being a training exercise in blocking, magnify that by 10! Holy shit! Give me a break! <laughs> no more! No more, please! Good fucking Christ! My jaw is on the floor right now. That's good damage, but it is nowhere. No, no, he didn't just. Oh my god! Well, which one's real? This is probably gonna hurt. This is probably gonna result in like three counter attacks. But I have to know. Wait, what? Hang on, who did that? Does that mean that one's the real one? It might not matter. I might want to just kill them all. Oh boy, what to do? Focus on the real one, maybe? Wait, that one took way too much damage. It's a jape, isn't it? These are all... Oh, I don't even know what to do. Kill them all, hopefully. Oh. 
Mistake. Well, on the bright side, he isn't doing that, uh, Hadouken bullshit anymore. Okay, I'm fairly certain that one's the real one. But I don't know if focusing on him is gonna usher me victory. Oh my god. Okay, these clones are pretty weak. I think. No, they're still pretty strong. And we are out of sufficient flower points. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mistake, mistake, mistake. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to use something else. Forgive me for abusing rewinds on this. Huh? Oh no. What are they doing? Please tell me they're not all gonna throw Hadoukens at me. There's one. There's the first one. They're all gonna throw them. They're all gonna do it. They're all gonna kill me. Jesus Christmas. Well, that Geno boost certainly lasted a long while, didn't it? I swear, he's got to be close to being dead. Because there's no way I'm putting up with that Shadow Clone bullshit a second time. Back to business as usual, maybe? I don't know, I kind of want to try and get another boost in. Even though it could go away at any second. No! Oh my god! This is too much. Also, I'm starting to think that that speed boost move doesn't actually boost his speed, it just, like, gives him twice as many attacks during the next turn. Oh, please, just die already. Ugh. Well, didn't matter, because Peach took a silver bullet. Even if you block it, you're left with one HP. No! Oh my god. Not again. Seriously, what is with that? I'm not even gonna bother putting everyone in defense mode because I know that he's just gonna throw those silver bullets my way and I won't be able to do a thing about it! No! <laughs> so we just now got him down to his like halfway point, is that it? Yep, there goes Princess. Jeez. Dude, this is not possible. Do you know what your weak point is? You haven't put in enough training time. But don't worry, in time you'll grow stronger. Come back after you level up. Dude, that was... unbelievable. Also, I burned a lot of items, so I'm gonna reset. 
Good grief. Like, there's absolutely no way to win that fight unless you are perfect with blocking on defense. Well... On to the main event, I suppose. Provided we have enough stuff. Yeah, more or less. I thought the Jinx was gonna be easier than Culex, but, uh, maybe not? Maybe I'll stand a chance here. Greetings. I am Culex, Dark Knight of Randa. I have crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage. But this world is uninhabitable for me and my kind. I must return to my own world. Before I go, though, I would like to challenge your strongest knight. Will you accept my challenge? You will enter combat against me. On guard! Here we go. I am matter. I am anti-matter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time, and I will consume you! So let's test my theory from before. Will we all die immediately if I use a rock candy? <laughs> it doesn't even hurt the crystals! Okay, okay. Fuck that. It doesn't even damage the crystals. <laughs> That's just like a middle finger from the ROM hacker saying, Hey, you, you found a working strategy? Well, fuck you, it ain't gonna work here. Ah, oh boy. Which one should I go for first? I usually went for the Earth Crystal first, but I'm not sure what kind of defenses it has. What? Okay, that's cool. It's immune to physical attacks and counters them. What the fuck? I'm sorry, what? How am I supposed to deal with this? Uh, is this just a matter of find the weakness? Because I don't know what the heck Earth is weak to. Not that. Actually, I got a weird feeling about this. Are all of the crystals immune to damage? Let's find out. Oh my god. I think that's what it is. Oh, come on. Even if she misses, a counter-attack comes our way. Good lord. Well, I thought we were gonna have a special cutscene for that. Where Culex tells us, uh, come... What is it? You must defeat Shenlong to stand a chance. Or something like that. Well, let's keep on trying until we have an idea of what to do. Oh boy. So, let's try a bit of magic against everything. No damage. Ha! 
<laughs> no damage, and on top of that, everyone gonna die! <laughs> nice knowing you, princess! So long, you princess! <laughs> Fuck me! Okay, I think I get it now. You're not supposed to attack the crystals at all. Is what's going on. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I guess the next question is, how often do the crystals attack by themselves? Uh, let's try one of these things that I have held on to. Because that'd be really nice if that works and gives us a bit of time. Uh, how do I want to do this? Let's try fire. Yeah, not bad. And he didn't counterattack, so that's good. Eh, yeah, I didn't get it. It's alright. Oof. It still hurts. Also, the crystals didn't attack. Hmm. This seems a little bit too simple. Like, way too simple. It can't be just attack Culex, don't attack the crystals, and win, right? There's gotta be more to it. We'll use physical attacks for now until he uses a shredder, and then we'll work on magic. Still, this is so weird. I'm really suspicious of what this guy's up to. <clears throat> hmm. Well, everyone who was at all excited for the QX fight, here it is. If if you're disappointed, you're not alone. I'm pretty disappointed right now too. Oh, Crystal finally moved. Does that mean it's weak to attacks now? Yes, it is. Huh. What in the world? Did they just become active one by one? This is very strange. Uh-oh. Now we got two active crystals. Uh... Definitely still not a good idea to, uh... You know, go all out and attack all of them at once. Whoa, that was a quick little hop there. I'm worried about when those things are going to revert to taking no damage and counterattacking. Hmm. Yeah, physical attacks are working a lot better. Oh, wait, that's right. I, I chose magic because uh, Gino's feeling a bit scared. Well, maybe it'll still be better. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeesh. I guess it's not that bad. I'm just... I still have it fresh in my memory when 150 damage was something to really be scared of. Ugh. 
Now, so far, they're playing it relatively cool. Oh! Also, what was that? Huh? Hold up, what? He just revived the crystal! What? Did I... Did I do that for nothing? I am so confused right now. I guess let's go back to hammering on Culex? What the? Whoa, hang on. I am so confused. If I get a game over right now, I will accept it in good faith. But seriously, what the fuck just happened? Are they all vulnerable now? That one is. Oh my god. Where did I go wrong? This is going to be a long one. Uh, can I save after doing that? So I don't have to listen to that over and over again? Oh, it's probably not that big of a difference, but whatever. Man, I just don't know what I'm going to do about this. I get the strategy at first, attack Culex until one of the crystals attacks, and then you can go for the crystals. Except for when you can't. I don't know, if he's gonna just revive the crystals, then is there any point to it? Ugh, so confused. Although this thing certainly helped. And a freebie. That's pretty, pretty good. There we go. Even though I'm not sure that I'm gonna have to worry about my physical defense, given that this is, you know, Culex and what have you. Oh, whatever. We're not doing anything else right now. Alright, so this is where our strategy diverges. We're going to ignore the crystals completely. Unless Culex does that whole... Channeling power to the crystals message. In which case, we will reconsider. So, let's give this a try and see how long it lasts. On the other hand, it feels like the crystals are counterattacking every time I hit Culex. Whoa! Culex already had a very quick and powerful and hard to block attack in the original game, and here it just comes out in instantly. You have zero time to react to it. In fact, I'm just gonna mash the A button. Okay, now is when we do not target Culex. Actually, I wonder, do they just all do one big attack, or do I have to worry about counterattacks? Uh, let's defend for a turn and see what happens. I think I see? 
Ooh, Gino might be down. Yep, there he goes. They're all using stronger attacks now, too. Hmm. Well, this seems like it's designed to just be a complete party wipe. Like, I don't think there was anything I could have done to prevent that. Again, what am I missing? <sighs> like, Culex in this is not only hard, it's confusing. I have no idea what to do. So... I'm kind of at my rope's end. I've given it everything I could think of. <clears throat> Actually, hmm. Tell you what, I'm gonna go into a BRB real quick. And see if I can't... Hang on. See if I can't figure out what to do. See if anyone's written a guide for this ROM hack. Pardon the clicking, there's gonna be a lot of it. Oops. Let's see here. Well, there's something in the developer's notes. So a few bosses have been tweaked and or improved to be more balanced and or difficult. Culex will still kill you at any level if you're not careful. I'm not sure what that means. Well, of course I know what it means. It means he's going to kill me. Hmm. What am I missing here? Mm-hmm. Misspelled revolution, that's great. Oh, wow. <laughs> Someone went ahead and did a uh, challenge run of the Culex fight, with no save states, no red essences, and no Caro Caro Colas. Interesting. And he did it in the span of 12 minutes? 12 minutes? Hmm. Yeah, this is this is hard. I really need to figure out something new to try with this dude. I suppose the most direct thing to do, and I know this is a bit of a controversial decision, but I think it might be best if we just watch this other dude that played it and see if I'm missing anything major, or if it's just a matter of uh, being absurdly overleveled and knowing when to block, or something like that. Let's see here, let's add a little window thing here. Ah, uh, of course, I forgot. My internet browser stopped working with YouTube uh, yesterday. You can have to use a different browser. Alright, let's see here. This guy capped himself at level 50. That's not it. There we go. Uh, this guy... Awest East! A West East. That's what, that's what it's supposed to be. Um, he... Maxed himself out on levels. He's going in with a party of Bowser, Peach, and uh, Mario. I do wonder what his strategy is. Apart from just, you know, max level good luck. I mean, maybe that's what it's supposed to be, but I'm not going to sit here and grind to level 50. It took me long enough just to get to level 40, 42 or whatever. Also, 
awful resolution. I apologize. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Yeah, it's locked to 240p. Sorry about that. Let's skip around a bit. Whew. Well, it certainly would help to have 400 HP. 450 HP. I mean, things don't really start happening until he does that, you know, I'm channeling power to the crystals thing that he did. Wouldn't even be all that bad if the crystals would just stay dead. But as you saw, when I tried to kill one, it just came right back. Yeah, this is it. This is where things got interesting. Uh, apologies for the lack of sound. Let me do. Let me do something about that. Uh, mm -mm. I'm gonna have to go into my mixer real quick. Because I actually put together something that I kind of wanted to show off on stream. A uh, little remix of the Culex boss battle. No, that's not it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, here it is. It's a remix between uh, Culex's boss fight, which of course is itself the Final Fantasy IV boss battle music. It's a remix between that and something else. And I'm going to leave it to you guys to guess what it is until it's done playing. I'm just going to have this play while we're... Uh, Analyzing the video. Ready? Here we go. Turn that up a bit. I can barely hear it. Alright, so I used a magic defense booster. To, he split into multiple parts. It's not even that long of a fight. He, he could have just kept it at uh, one 12 minute video or what have you. I'm really surprised he's using Bowser. I guess you just really need that extra level of health and defense in order to stand a chance. Probably don't need this right here. For the moment. Oh, wait. So they just hammer him with magic, and there's nothing he can do about it. <laughs> Look at all the crystal ones he has in his inventory! Is that what's expected of you? To keep buffing yourself even though Culex keeps shredding it off? That's nuts! So does his power ever die off? It kind of looks like he just keeps on hammering you after he powers up the crystals. That is so weird that he keeps using Bowser's magic. Okay, so... I guess it comes and goes in waves? Little periods between... Whoa, what the... Whoa, 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 what just happened? What just happened? So he channels power to the crystals at some point, uses the shredder to get rid of your stat buffs. And then... they receive damage? Why? This is so strange. Does he, like, redistribute any damage that he took, somehow? Because now that I look at it, this guy has just been fighting Culex and hasn't been inflicting any damage on the crystals themselves. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, he's just been using Bowser, of all characters, to, and, well, okay, and Mario, to deal damage. And then Culex, I guess, redistributes it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he is attacking the crystals as well. 
Huh. Let's skip to the next part and see if we can find anything interesting. Hmm. Seems like more of the same. Well, eventually he gets into doing that attack. Oh my god, did you see how much damage that just did? Look, Peaches at max level has 443 HP. It knocked off 400 of that HP. And that's with this guy accumulating a bunch of crystallins and using them every turn. And then they, those crystals just keep on coming. I guess at some point he redirects his focus to the crystals. And then he can... But Q-Lex revives the crystals. So what's the point of it? Hmm. This is very strange. He has not done his power redistribution yet. Yeah, okay, there he goes. The, yeah, 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 the crystal comes back. The crystals absolutely come back. Oh, there's a fourth part. Okay, this is longer than I thought. There's a fifth part! Holy cow! I didn't even survive one round of the crystal channeling. Good gravy. So it's just more of this, right? He, it's just a pattern. And it doesn't matter if you kill the crystals. Because they just come right back when Culex powers them. Hmm. And a lot of counterattacking going on as well. Whoa, what was that? You see him float? Let's look at that again. Oh god, that's weird. Uh-huh, that crystal comes back too. They all come back! And I don't even know what the point of that extra damage at the end of the animation is. This is so weird. So now this guy's taking up two crystals. Oh, wait. I almost thought the victory condition was wiping out all the crystals. But apparently not. Sorry for painting the screen around like that, by the way. I just wanted to see if there was a part six. But apparently this is it. You just keep wailing on Culex and that's how you win? <laughs> Hold up, what just happened? I'm gonna need this to play in slow motion. Whoa, 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 easy. So, is the strategy to kill them all at once, somehow? Or is it just that when Culex dies, the rest of them die? Yeah, I only saw one pop, so... Huh. <laughs> 400 EXP, as if you can use that. Well, I think it goes without saying that we are not going to be doing any of that. Because, holy crap, this guy was at max level and it took him that long, that much effort. And you still just get a Quartz Charm. Whew. Well, now, that was... That was quite the discovery. So, I apologize for more or less chickening out of this fight, but I gave it my hardest. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm, I have no intention of grinding and then trying it over and over again at this, because uh, 
you know, I got places to be. I got other things to do. I've got another stream that I want to get started on real soon. There we go. Just have that play while we wrap up with the stream here. And yes, it is wrapping up. Sorry to disappoint. But there is no way I stand a chance against Culex in this form. Well, I guess there is one more thing we can do. Let's see what he says when we chicken out. Where's my controller? Here it is. Yeah, I don't think so. Not today, buddy. You are wise to hesitate. Without any weapon or armor, you have no chance. <laughs> and away he goes. Ah, uh, well, that was something. Put one more save state there for next time we come to this. Next time. I have no clue when a next time is going to be. Oh, this thing stopped. <laughs> no, darn it. I wanted you to play forever like you're supposed to. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's do it properly. With the real music. Yeah, I'm sure you guys... Oh, by the way, the thing that I remixed um, the QX fight with was the Rainbow Ship music from Mario Hoops 3-on-3. 3 3. Better known as that other game that had a bunch of... Uh, Final Fantasy characters crossing over into the Mario universe. I thought it was fitting. Mix one crossover with another. Ah, boy. Well, that's that. I'm sorry to end on such a disappointing note, but hey, at least the stream didn't crash this time. The game didn't crash, I mean. So with that being said... I forgot this part was in here. With that being said, be sure to join me next week. I've got quite a lot of ideas on more games to be streaming. I don't know what we're going to go into Wednesday with. I'm gonna see if I can find something weird to play. I wanna keep I want I wanna have my Wednesdays be one-off streams. And then Thursdays are where I do my main streams, part of the series. And the next main game we are going to be playing is Snake Pass. I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to do it. Can't wait to see you guys there. Hope you all had fun. But it's about time for me to go. So, here's, here's to you. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. Super Mario RPG, great game. Super Mario RPG Revolution, great ROM hack. Way too hard for the secret bosses, though. Way out of control. that's all I have to say about that. Again, if you missed it earlier, check the description of this archive, and you'll see a link to the ROM hack if you want to try it out yourself. And that's for real, y'all. I'll see you guys next week. So long, and farewell. Until we meet again, this is Aiken Labs. See you next time.